Greetings world. We are anonymous. In latest news. The White House proposal to seize frozen Russian funds, and use them to help Ukraine, is not only illegal, but also, incredibly dangerous, as it could shatter, the entire global financial system. As New York Times reported on Friday, December 22, 2023, that the Joe Biden administration, had intensified talks with the United States allies, to requisition over $300 billion in Russian foreign exchange reserves, frozen after the start of the Ukraine conflict. This initiative, is just crazy, and it does not have a single leg to stand on, when it comes to legal terms. Central banks' sovereign funds are shielded by a special immunity, under customary international law, and no jurisdiction is allowed to impose any coercive measures on them. Moreover, if the United States were to seize Russian assets, it would violate not only international law, but also domestic legislation, because of the 1976 Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act, which protects the assets of foreign central banks. International judicial and arbitral practice confirms, that it is impossible to impose seizure on funds belonging to central banks, and sovereign wealth funds. By disregarding this practice, the United States is setting a very, dangerous, precedent, that will harm the entire global financial system. This potential seizure, would trigger swift retaliation from Moscow, with the requisition of Western assets frozen in Russia being on the table. Washington's move would be interpreted as a bad signal in many countries like China and Saudi Arabia, which will doubt the wisdom of holding their funds in euros or dollars. The results will only be, that everyone loses. There will be a global financial crisis. It will most definitely create chaos and destruction. Russian officials have repeatedly alleged, that the West's decision to freeze Moscow's assets constitutes theft. On said Friday, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister, Sergei Ryabkov, also stated that, if the United States goes ahead with seizing the funds, it could only lead to a complete breakdown of relations with Moscow, in which are already, at an all-time low. All this will do, is push more countries away from the United States, and the United States has already lost Africa, Middle East, and much of Asia, and Latin America as well. If the United States continue with this nonsense, no countries will ever trust the United States. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the United States government. When will you ever learn, about equality? Oh,